Hi, I'm Catherine with PlantBasedHealth.com. Today we're making quinoa and black bean enchiladas. Now enchiladas are a dish that's easy to make vegan and you can also customize them to your friends and family members' tastes. As you can see here, we've got a lot of beautiful and colorful vegetables that we're gonna add to ours. First you'll need one zucchini or squash cut into small pieces and one yellow onion that will slice directly into the medium saucepan. Add one sliced green bell pepper and one sliced red bell pepper and cook over medium heat. Now there's no need to add oil to your saucepan. Oil is 100% fat and we want to keep these low fat. So if you need something to keep your vegetables from sticking, then just add a little bit of water or broth. Cook your vegetables until they're tender. And during the last minute or two of cooking, add four cloves of minced garlic and then add some cumin and chili powder to taste. For me, I've added about a teaspoon of cumin and half a teaspoon of chili powder. If you'd like, you can also add salt and pepper as well. While our veggies are cooking, let's work on the rest of the filling. You'll need one and a half cups of cooked quinoa, one and a half cups of cooked black beans, or you could use pinto beans if you'd rather, four ounces of diced green chilies, and one cup of salsa. Now it's time to assemble our enchiladas. This makes enough filling for 10 of the eight inch tortillas. I'm using a whole wheat tortilla, as you can see, for more protein and fiber than you would get from a white tortilla. So take about 1 tenth of the bean and quinoa mixture and place it in the middle of the tortilla, and then also 1 tenth of the veggies. Oh, these look so good. I wish you could smell it. It's delicious. After you get all the filling in, just wrap them gently. If you put the enchiladas seam side down in your casserole dish or electric skillet, that, that helps to prevent them from unrolling. Also, enchiladas are a great dish to make ahead of time and then freeze. Typically, since one batch makes 10 enchiladas, I'll make a double batch at one time. And then we can eat one batch and freeze the remaining 10. If you wanna do this, freeze them in groups of five in a vacuum sealed package, and they'll store in the freezer for up to six months. So if you want to freeze yours, then thaw them in the refrigerator for about 12 hours and then place them in a casserole dish, pour the red sauce on top, and then bake at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. We're going to go ahead and eat our enchiladas today. So you'll need 20 ounces of red enchilada sauce, drizzle this over your 10 enchiladas, and then bake them in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes until warmed through. Now that our enchiladas are nice and warmed through, they're ready to serve. I've cut up some sliced avocado, but you could also add some minced cilantro or even top it with our vegan nacho cheese sauce. If you're interested in that recipe, you can find it on our YouTube channel, Veg News TV. These enchiladas are really delicious. They're practically fat-free and they're really high in protein. I hope that your family enjoys them as much as mine has.